Hi! Do you ever have the sneaking suspicion, or even the raging certainty, that there's something that you do that stops you from having the quality of life or the happiness that you want? It's as if there's this one thing, and if you just knew what it was, you could stop doing it, and life would be a lot easier, a lot happier, a lot more fulfilled. Well, let me share with you one absolutely surefire, guaranteed way of making yourself dissatisfied with your life, unhappy, angry, irritated, and depressed. It will constantly irritate you, and it will constantly give your inner critic lots of ammunition to shoot at you. So if you want to see what this bad feelings perpetual motion generator looks like, stay tuned. But I think we'll need to go indoors actually, because so, I need to use some slides. That's better. It's quite cold out there. Do you ever say to yourself, I should be more caring? I should be smarter, I should work harder, I should be more loving, I should be more generous, I should be a better friend, I should have more friends, I should be more sociable, I should be more technically adept, I should be more hairy, I should be more sexy, I should be more, I should, I should, I should. Do you ever say those kinds of things to yourself? Because if you do, you have the first part of the bad feelings generator in place. See, the bad feeling generator is a way for you to constantly create bad feelings about yourself. Now, the bad feelings generator is constantly, it's like a, a perpetual motion engine, it's constantly in play. And it constantly makes a comparison between where you should be, I should be more loving, I should be more caring, and where you are. And here we have the two components of the bad feelings generator where I should be, I should be this, I should be this, I should be that, where I am. And the bad feelings generator has a gap between these two components. And you can see that this gap, which we see here, is, uh, has, a, has a size. And the size of this gap is a measure of the level of distress, dissatisfaction, depression, or anxiety that you will feel. The gap, in essence, says I should be somewhere else, but in fact, I'm not. Many people have a gap which is actually quite large, and if it's too large, for instance, and I'm just giving you a silly example, I am poor, but I think I should be a multi-billionaire, that gap is so large that I can't even see what the first step would be to narrow that gap. Consequently, I feel stuck. I don't even know where to start to narrow the gap. A little bit more rationally, you might say, yeah, but I should work harder. Yeah, but I should be a bit more loving. Okay, as a general principle, I would say, you know, it's good to do your best. But the perpetual motion machine that we have here, the bad feelings generator, is a process. You can never work hard enough. You can never be loving enough. You can never be kind enough. Because it's a process, it's not focused on an outcome. You can never do enough to satisfy that I should, because the process is the thing which is uh, damaging in the bad feelings generator. I usually use this a silly example, you know, how tall are you? Well, I'm 5'11", so what would be the point in saying I should be 6'3"? I'm so dissatisfied with 5'11", 5'11 is rubbish. If I was 6'3", that'd be great, you know, oh God, I wish I was 6'3". I'm so unhappy with being 5'11". What's the point of that? I am the height that I am. Therefore, I should be taller is a meaningless statement. All it does is create a comparison between where I am and where I should be. But of course, I should is a, is a fiction, it's a fantasy. It's a, a notion of some better, hypothetical, better place, but it actually doesn't exist. So what we have to do is, we have to recognize that this process of constant comparison, I am where I am, but I should be somewhere else, is a real, real uh, damager to your happiness and your, your sense of fulfillment and even the quality of your life. But it's a bad feelings generator. It doesn't matter what the comparison is, it will always generate bad feelings. So what we have to do is, we have to learn or have to put effort into accepting where we are. You know, I am the height I am. I am as kind as I am. I am as loving as I am. I work as hard as I work. I do what I do and that's okay. Now, it doesn't mean to say it's the last word, you know, I could want to be uh, more loving, okay? But starting from where I am, I can put effort into being more loving. Starting from where I am, I can put effort into 
working harder. I can put effort into being successful. If I start from where I am, I don't have to contend with the gap, which always makes it hard, often makes you feel stuck, and is a barrier to actual progress. Starting from where you are, accepting what you are and where you are, and then moving forward in the steps which are the right direction towards the goals that you want to achieve is absolutely the secret to success. You'll never hear a multi-billionaire saying, I should be, you know, whatever, because they achieve their success by taking steps in the right direction that are measured and kind of doable. By saying, I should be, we just basically make ourselves dissatisfied and it gives us no action points. It gives us nothing that we can do constructively to help ourselves. So it's like a thought for the day, really. So find ways to accept who you are, where you are, and, and what you are. And then, if you want to make some changes, make some concrete plans to take very small steps in the direction that you want to go. I hope you found this information interesting and potentially useful. I'm Dr. David Purvis. And I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the bad feelings generated.